right, welcome back. Um, I'd hope to finish in 13. Um, looks like this will be the last one. Um, this is where we were at. Um, this is all the we've got down the bottom. We want to re rename to something useful. I'll call it bottom mount. And we want to drag this down so it's a child of the body, which is inside your dome, hopefully, at this stage. Um, that way when we rotate all this, that will rotate with it. Um, so now we can select our dome and rotate that 20 degrees. Um, I've got the wrong object selected, obviously. Um, dome. Grab that magical move tool. Um, I think I just rotated it to access 20. Um, there you go, that didn't throw anything off, so he's there. Um, I actually want to move that bottom mount forward a bit, because I want to have that front leg forward a bit. So I'll actually move it to there. Um, yeah, and then we can move this foot into place, so he's going to come through to about there. And grab our mount block here, in polygon mode. Um, I've still got that top polygon selected, if you haven't selected that. I'm just going to extrude that up. And just drag it up to wherever. Um, and position our foot back so that that mount. Click the magical move button again. So that sits roughly in the middle like that. Um, if we give them a quick render, um, hopefully that should be looking like a join. Um, we're going to add in a few more bits underneath here. Um, from the front, how's he looking? Looking okay, can I adjust the fong tag here on this block uh, to match the others? Um, let's set those at 30 if I remember correctly. And that's looking about right. Um, last thing we need to do is make some wheels, which I forgot about when we did the feet. Um, it's a bit of a pain. Um, yeah. So, I think he's just got a couple of cylinders under here. You could just use those anyway. You're barely ever going to see them. So, we'll go objects, primitive cylinder. Uh, I'll move it up so you can see what I'm doing again. We want those on the x axis. Um, they're only tiny, so we'll move it down. So we'll see just how we are sized at the moment. Um, Look at half the height of one of those is looking. Um, jump into the actual side on view. Don't know if we'll be able to see what we're doing when it sticks down. Half of that will look about right. Um, in order to position it so it's exactly halfway down, you've got half a round wheel sticking out. We can grab the foot um, into points mode and grab one of the lower points here. And then I set it to minus 205.958. And we take that and we click our cylinder, put the magical move button on, and we set that height. And it should have exactly half a wheel sticking down. Um, slightly too large, we'll change that radius to 30. And reset that. Um, let's see what looks like those arrows in the way. Um, that looks okay. Um, could still be a bit big. About 15. And that stayed the same as it has. That's too small. Compromise at 25. Yeah, and. Here's one about there, and copy and paste, and one about there. Um, now we just need to line these up with each foot. Um, so we actually want six cylinders in total, so control C. There we go, we've got six cylinders. We'll start with the first one here. Um, we know they're all at the same height, 
that way, so we just want to go from the front first up and we want the first one over on that foot there and the second one over on that foot there and that one goes to that foot that one goes to that foot you can see I'm sort of roughly centering them um, and they should both be centered on that foot there so if we go back to our left hand view um, we know that's about right and that's about right that one should be right and that's the one on the back leg and that's one on the front leg and that one's on the front leg So there we go, if we go camera perspective zoom out we should have all those wheels under there um, the alignment doesn't really matter um, what we can do, seeing we're here, we'll put in a floor as well um, just group all those into a null object so select them all, Alt G and we can just call that wheels and chuck that under one of your feet um, it's usually where you find the wheels or we'll make a floor which means we'll grab one of those cylinders um, we have to make it editable so we can select the, the point um, just because it's too late in the night and I'm not doing the maths to put the floor in the right position um, so make them editable, select the point And we want the lowest point of that, which is U, and that Y height there. Control C. We'll go objects, um, scene, floor. Grab your move button, set your Y height there, which will put the floor in the right place. Um, since we don't have any lights and we can move this up to here and have a quick render and here you'll sit there, you can't really see much um, next tutorial I'll put in a lighting rig if you know how to do that I'm just going to put in a really cheap quick job of it and yeah, then we'll get on to the detailing so that's definitely enough of that